Hey guys, just a quick video. I wanted to uh, go over what classes and methods are in more detail before I moved on to my next project. Um, in tutorial 6, the one after this one, which you can expect later tonight, right after this one is uploaded, I'll be making one that is a little hard to comprehend for some people, and then one after that that I'll be making is even harder. So I'm going to just uh, go over what classes and methods are in some detail and um, what they can do and what they're meant for and um, I'll be using some visual rep representation as you can see. So classes are meant to hold methods inside of them and it's a way of object-oriented programming. Object-oriented program is a hierarchy of uh, like categories and um, storage it's basically a way for people to organize their code and make it make sense. So basically the class here I have here is car. And this class car has a lot of different stuff that uh, put it together. So um, these are all the methods that the car runs. Um, such as steering method, which controls the steering of the car. And the car radio, which controls what station the c is on the car. And uh, the gas left is... Uh, how much gas is left in the car, and the distance driven, how much distance has been driven by the car, and the tires changed, if the tires have been changed on the car. So uh, basically that gives you a little idea of what classes and methods are and how they're organized between each other. The methods are stored inside the classes, um, and they can be called from the classes in your code. And let me move on to the next visual representation. Here is a class called Navigator, such as your uh, Garmin GPS that helps you navigate. Um, and as you can see, there are two public voids and one public string. I'll be going over voids later, but basically, a method returns a value. Um, a public string, it, c it can return a string value, like a set of characters, letters. And um, a public void, that can return a... Well, it can't return anything. A public void return has no return value. It can return zero, or it can return nothing at all. Um, it doesn't need a return value, and it can't have one. So, uh, basically, these two classes are part of the navigator. Like, one sets the destination name that you want to go to, and one modifies the route to avoid traffic. So if you give it a street name, it'll avoid that street because it's, there's traffic on the way. And then this string gets a route, and it tells you directions. So once it, it uh, runs the method get route, it will uh, output, or it will have a return value of the directions to go. So th as, as you can see down here, I'm using this code by creating a new string called route and uh, setting the route equal to the return value of get route. And um, so basically, that's uh, how it works. Let me move on to the next one. This is a simple calculator, and uh, as you can see, it is a, like I said, a basic calculator, and there are three ints, public ints, inside this cal calculator class. One is add, one is divide, mu one is multiply, and each of them has two variables that are declared um, that it uses, and these variables are used in the math equation that it provides, such as this one adds, so it takes the int number one and int number two, that you can declare inside this method, and um, it takes them and it adds them together. So once the method runs, it declares a new int called result, which is the result of the equation, and it takes number one and number two and adds them together, and the return value is the result, or the added together, the two things added together is, re is the result. And divide would be similar, it would just be like number one divided by number two, and then res the result would be the answer to that, and multiply would be the same and so on and so forth. And this shows you how you're going to call it later on, how you're going to call the multi uh, method. Basically, you declare a new int called answer, and um, then you take the multiply method, and you insert two uh, new, or you insert two things for this method to add. In this case, I'm using a numeric up-down, which is, um, it's like a box you use in the class, or in the program and I used it in my last tutorial, and basically it takes the value inside that box. If it was like a 5, it would take the 5 inside that numeric up-down, 
and it would take the 4 that's inside the second numeric up down. Oh, this should be 2. Numeric up down 2. And uh, it takes the value that's inside there. See, I'm using value. And this that's tagged onto it is called a property. I'll be going over properties later, but basically, if you had like a background, it would be like BG color would be a property, the background color. Or, um, I don't know, background text could be it, or the text property. The, the value is generically used in numbers when you're working with numbers. Numbers have value. And uh, basically, it takes those two numeric up-downs, and then it uses the multiply method, which will multiply them together, and it will return your answer to the multiplication of those two. It will return the value that uh, the method, or it will return the, an the outcome of multiplying the two numbers, as I said. And uh, basically, this message box now outputs the answer is, and then it gives you and then it uh, adds on the answer to that method. So I've just reviewed how methods and classes work together and um, th that is basically all I can tell you right now about classes and methods. That's the basics of classes and methods. What they actually do, how they work, and um, look forward to my next tutorial where we make a more powerful uh, program using classes and methods that might take a little bit more of brain power and then after that I'll start the first uh, big scale well actually no I think I'm gonna create three or four more tutorials before I start the big scale project but uh, yeah look forward to the next tutorial and uh, thanks for watching um, see you later bye